In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up ASUS Zen Wi-Fi BD4 and we are going to start with physical connections. Everything is very simple here. There are only two Ethernet ports over here and they are absolutely identical. Each of them can work either as input or output. So to connect the router to your internet source, use an Ethernet cable, plug it into any port over here and connect to your modem or LAN socket in the wall. In other words, to your main internet source like this. And the second port you can use to connect an access point, a range repeater, or maybe your computer, or connect LAN switcher, uh, which has one input and few outputs, and connect uh, more devices uh, just to one main router. Uh, next, let's power on your unit. And also, if you have more than one ASUS uh, Zen unit, you can uh, set up them uh, at the same time. Uh, one of them you will set up as main rotor and other units will be detected automatically and connected to uh, mesh network. You just need to uh, place them about one meter apart uh, to make your setup. And after this, after setup is completed, you can uh, unplug them and uh, place uh, somewhere in Wi-Fi dead zones. For example, the main router is in living room and another ro router is in bedroom, uh, one more in kitchen, and you can connect up to nine uh, Zen units into one uh, AI mesh network and create seamless Wi-Fi coverage through your house. And also you can combine ASUS Zen units of different models. You don't have to uh, purchase the same unit to connect to mesh system. And now let's proceed to setup. You need to wait for this indicator to start glowing solid blue and continue on your smartphone. As you already know, you need to install ASUS Rotor application. It's available both in App Store and Google Play Store. So install it and let's open. On the first screen, you need to scroll all the way down, then check this checkbox at the bottom, agree. Agree on the next screen. And it's very important to allow to find devices on local networks. So allow this, allow to use your location. It's also helpful and set up. Then select ASUS Zen Wi-Fi series and select your BD4 model from here. Uh, now you have two options, enable camera and scan or connect manually. Uh, let's try to scan QR codes, allow access to camera and just scan a code on the product label. Now ASUS Rotor wants to join this temporary Wi-Fi network. Tap on join. It's taken about 15 seconds to detect the unit, but if it hasn't been detected, you can open your Wi-Fi settings and connect to ASUS temporary network automatically. The network name is typed on the product label at the bottom of your rotor. Here it is. You don't need password to connect for the first time. So uh, connect to the network and get started. If you have special requirement from your internet provider, you need to toggle on this uh, switcher and select this requirement. Contact the representative of your provider. But in my case, I just need to hit next because I don't have any requirements. And let's create our new network. Name your network first. You can select any name my home, my house, my office, any, uh, and create password. Uh, for this example, I'm using just simple password, but I recommend you to create a stronger one. Also, you can separate, separate Wi-Fi network, use separated 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, but um, I don't see any reason to do this. I prefer uh, dual band network. All my devices will be connected automatically at the highest possible speed and uh, within wider, widest possible range. So uh, hit on next. Also create your IoT network for smart home appliances and hit next. Now enter username and password for uh, login as administrator to manage your settings from web browsers, from different smartphones and so on. The username is admin, but you can 
of course choose any name and password you need to confirm your password in this field now tap on these eyes to check if the passwords are matching and hit next it may take up to three minutes to set up your network so you just have to be patient and wait next asus router wants to create you to your a new wi-fi network tap on join to allow this and also it wants to optimize the network whatever it means you need to wait once again that's it now you're all set the system is up and running and you can see your wi-fi network name and password name and password for iot network and uh, login and password for administrator so just tap on finish and it takes you to the home screen of your application you can enable or cancel notifications this is just up to you and also you can enable remote connection to manage your router from uh, any place of the world to do this you need to log into your asus account don't allow notifications but let's skip this step for now if you would like to do this just log in to your account over here or create one and later you can activate this feature uh, so this is the home screen of your application uh, the main thing over here is your network co configuration if you have more than one Zen unit they all will appear on this screen and you can tap on any unit and see information about it and reboot the units over here uh, and one more important thing is your wi-fi settings so you can tap on this wi-fi icon then tap in the middle of the screen and change your network name and password over here tap on main network for example so you can enable or disable wi-fi 7 mode rename your network disable or enable uh, 5 or 2.4 gigahertz change password uh change encryption type and so on like this more settings you can find in this settings menu a lot of them over here but this is not a topic of this video everything is okay with your wi-fi system and uh, i hope this was helpful if yes consider to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials any questions comment below and see you in the next videos be awesome bye guys